All right, so many people who don't know how to use spreadsheets very often think that to be able to use spreadsheets, you have to know a lot of math. So in this video, I wanna cover how much math actually you need to know to be able to work with vast majority of spreadsheets. So let's start with just regular operations, right? So if you just add two numbers, see you get your total 30, that's pretty much it. So pretty simple operation, as you can see, you can do minus, I think most people will be able to do something like this, see 10 minus 20, we got negative 10, and you don't really need to calculate this in your head, the spreadsheet is doing it for you. So generally speaking, if you already know how to use a calculator, you're probably already in a good spot. So if you wanna multiply two numbers together, you can take the 10 and multiply it by four. So 10 times four, star is the sign for multiplication here, so we got 40. And then if we want to divide 10 by four, we'll do this forward slash, and that's our division sign. Now, so far that would be four operations we talked about. The next one I'm gonna talk about is exponents, which is this character right here. So, for example, if we do two to the power of three, see, that's two, exponent sign, and then three, so that's eight. So two times two times two. If we do two to the power of four, that's two times two times two times two. 16. If you don't know about this, it's not very common that you'll see this used in many spreadsheets. Now this brings me to order of operations, and that's something that's going to be important when you work with spreadsheets. So for example, if I wanted to do something like 4 plus 6 multiplied by 2, the answer I get here is 16. So when you do this formula, spreadsheets aren't gonna just do this formula from left to right. So what I mean by that, let's actually just zoom in here more. See, what I mean by that is that instead of going four plus six and getting a 10 and multiplying that 10 by two to get a 20, what our spreadsheet is going to do, it's going to follow order of operations. So it's going to do multiplication first, six times two to get a 12 and then add four to it to get 16. Now you can, overwrite that by using parentheses. So I can go in and do parentheses around four plus six, and now it's going to do this part first. So 10 times two, so that should get us a 20. So the order of operations is going to be this. We're gonna take parentheses first. After parentheses, you have exponents. After that, you have multiplication and division, which are on the same level. And then you get addition subtraction, which again, these two are on the same level. Now let's go through a couple of examples so you can see how this works, right? So for example, if I have a formula that takes six and then divides by two and then multiplies by three, the answer is gonna be nine. The reason for that is because division and multiplication are on the same level. We just basically go through this formula left to right. So we're gonna take six divided by two, that's gonna give us three. And then we're gonna take that three and multiply by three, so we're gonna get a nine. So that's our answer. So it's not going to do multiplication and then division. So if you wanted to have multiplication happen first, then you would have to take this and put it in parentheses. See, now two times three is six, and then we'll take six and divide it by six, so we should get one. So again, the order of operations here, we start with parentheses, which is this, and then once that's done, we're gonna go to our next operation. Let's do a couple of more examples here. So I'm gonna take three multiplied by four plus four divided by two minus one. So now if I look through this formula, what's going to happen, we don't have any parentheses, we don't have any exponents. So the next one is gonna be multiplication and division. So we're gonna start with this multiplication, so that's 12, and then we're gonna do this division, which is two. So now at this position, we have 12. So we're gonna take that 12 after that and add whatever the result of this was, so two. So that should give us 14, 
and then minus one, and that should give us 13. Now, if we go back and add parentheses around this, like that, then because of this, we have parentheses, so this is gonna be first, so eight. Then we're gonna move to multiplication and divisions, so multiplication, so we have this three times this eight, so that's 24. Then we're gonna divide it by two, so this would be 12, right there, minus one should be 11. Finally, let's also use some exponents so you can see how that works. So now in this formula, again, we're gonna start with the parentheses. So four plus four, eight. Then we're gonna move to exponents. So two to the power of three, that should get us eight, two times two times two. Then we're gonna move to multiplication and divisions. So it's gonna be this eight times this three. So that should give us 24. And then we're gonna have this division. So we have this eight here divided by two, that should give us four. And then finally, we're gonna take this 24 and add this four to it. So that's 28 and then minus one, we got 27. So that's how order of operations work. So for most people, you should really think about when you have a formula that has additions and subtractions mixed with multiplications and divisions, know that unless you have parentheses, multiplication and division is gonna happen first, then you're gonna do plus and minus after that. Now the next thing to understand here is how to calculate percentages. For example, if we need to calculate 20% of a number, let's say we have 56 and I need to calculate 20% of this. So usually you would multiply this by 20 and divide it by 100. However, in spreadsheets, we don't really have percentages as a number like this. Instead, we represent percentages as a decimal point number. So instead of having 20%, what we do, we just basically represent this as 0 0.2. So if you wanted to calculate 20% of a number, you take the number and do times 0 0.2. So in this case, we do basic multiplication. We just take a number, multiply by another number, just like that. And the reason this is important to understand is because very often when you look in a spreadsheet, you'll see somebody will type in like 20% like this. You need to understand that even though this says like 20%, in the background, what your spreadsheet is doing, it's converting that to a regular number. So if I just go back and take all the formatting off to make this look like a number, see the number will be 0 0.2. So basically the way we store percentages is, for example, 0 0.5, would be your 50%, one would be your 100%, two would be 200%. So if I take all of these and switch them to percent, see, that's the way it looks. So you just have to understand when you look at something like this, what you're dealing with are these numbers, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, one. So you'll just take your number, multiply by one of those. That's pretty much it. And then the last one, that is not very common, but it's sometimes very useful when you deal with spreadsheets, when you get to more advanced situations, is to understand what remainder is. The concept behind it is very easy. If you don't already know it, if I have a number, let's say eight, and I try to divide this eight by three. So we wanna think about after we take this three and multiply it by the highest number we can multiply to get closer to that eight. So if I take three times one, that's three. Three times two, that would be six. And if I do three times three, that would give me nine. So nine is already too large. We have eight. So the largest I can get by taking this three and multiplying by a whole number would be six. So at this point, if we take this eight minus the six, we'll get two. So that two would be the remainder. And there's a function in spreadsheets to get this. So if you do mod and take that eight and comma three, the answer I'm gonna get is that two. See, that eight, this is that three, and the answer I got is this two. So if we took that eight and divided by four, for example, four times two, that would get me eight. 
and then there is no remainder. Eight minus eight at that point would be zero. So if I do eight and four, instead of eight and three, remainder would be zero in that case. And that's it. If you know this much math, that should be enough for you to deal with vast majority of spreadsheets in most companies. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.